Hi, I'm Jonathan Folsom, seed agronomist for Cropland, Armor, and Winfield United. Let's look at some high yielding corn and let's make a nitrogen management plan to finish out the season. So here we are in some really good irrigated corn and it just finished tasseling. Matter of fact, there's still some silks here that are trying to get pollinated. So we're gonna call this uh, growth stage R1. And let's talk about how do we compare corn today, corn hybrids today, to you know corn 50 years ago. Let's think, you know, think back to the 1970s and 80s. You know, yield potentials were quite a bit lower, and therefore nitrogen use, nitrogen requirements were quite a bit lower. But we've dramatically increased corn yield potential, and I would argue that our nitrogen and potassium management probably has the most room for improvement of any other aspect of growing high yielding corn today. Let's talk about that. So up, up until tassel, at tassel time, corn has taken up about two thirds of the nitrogen that it needs and stores it within the leaves. And then during grain fill, it will relocate that nitrogen from the leaves to the ear for grain fill. So let's recap that. So we're taking up nitrogen at, up until tassel, storing it in the leaves. And if this is high yielding corn, let's say 300 bushel corn, for easy math, we've taken up 200 units of nitrogen. So that means we still have another one third of our nitrogen to still take out of the soil, to pull up and put in the corn plant. So that's another 100 units this corn is gonna uptake at, after tassel. So even though yield potential has greatly increased, the plant doesn't have the ability to store extra nitrogen to the degree that it's improved its ability to, to hang on to yield potential. So nitrogen management becomes critical late season. I often get the question, well, how late is too late to apply nitrogen? And I would argue that you can go two weeks after tassel and still be seeing the benefits of applying nitrogen in a high yield environment because the plant's gonna be pulling nitrogen out of the leaves, but those leaves can only store so much nitrogen. So ultra high, high yielding corn needs more nitrogen later, more than ever before and later than ever before. So I would even argue that nitrogen management all the way through brown silks is more important in high yield scenarios simply because of that high yield potential. The plant can't store that much nitrogen and I'm not sure that you can really store that much nitrogen safely in the soil without leaching it out or having some kind of risk of losing it. So let's make sure we've got at least 75% of our nitrogen out before tassel. But let's make sure in these high yield scenarios that we're saving a good 10 to 20% of our nitrogen to apply after tassel, chemigate it, fertigate it on so that we can feed that late season nitrogen demand in this high yielding corn. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos next week. For Winfield United, I'm Jonathan Folsom.